Hey guys, it's Jenna and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a sunscreen review, so if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. <music> All right, per the usual, I am back at you, fresh out of the shower. This is how I do my videos a lot. So um, I mainly focus on skin and today's video is gonna be no different. So the sunscreen I'm gonna be talking about today is the Dr. G Green Mild Up Sun Fluid. Looks like this. This has not yet been opened. It is SPF 50. It's a PA++++ which is the highest PA rating you can have. Um, and it is a mineral UV filter. It's mild care, so it's supposed to be great for sensitive skin. And obviously it's gonna protect your skin. So let me just quickly read the description of what it says on the site. It says, editor's note, hypoallergenic sun cream shields delicate and sensitive skin from harmful UV rays. The non-sticky formula glides on without leaving any white cast. Pycnogenol extracted from pine trees works with glycophore and panthenol to protect skin from external aggressors like fine dust and smoke. I really like that. I think that's cool. So that's why it says, um, with like the three things here, it says mineral UV filter, mild care, and then that additional sun protection, which is kind of like that last piece that I just mentioned. So this is, let's see here, 1.69 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters, and it retails for right around $20. So let's go ahead and get this guy opened up, put him on the skin and see what he looks like. Okay, it comes with a little kind of protective top there. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Okay, so far I'm not getting any smell. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand and kind of turn my head and so you guys can see kind of how runny or solid it is. It's a pretty solid consistency, not like crazy solid, um, but it's not runny, that's for sure. All right, so I'm gonna take this. Oh, it feels actually much runnier once you like get your finger into it and sort of start to rub it onto your skin. I'm put my hair behind me here. Okay, interested to see how this is supposedly gonna have no white cast though. And because it is totally mineral and I like to do this with all my sunscreens, I am gonna rub it over the top of my eyes to see if it irritates. Now, some of you may think that I just put on a lot of sunscreen, but I didn't. So in order to get the SPF on the label, you should be applying about two teaspoons just for your face, neck, and chest area. Now, the white cast is definitely disappearing. Um, however, I have pretty light skin. And so I would say that if you have darker skin, you might be able to see the white cast a little bit more. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, these lights that I'm in right now are pretty bright. So if there is a white cast, it would really be showing it. Let me rub it in on my hand here too. The areas that I see kind of the white cast the most are sort of along the perimeter of my hair, which I am kind of letting some of my natural brown hair grow out here a little bit. But if you have very dark hair, I feel like white cast is always really annoying when it's on the perimeter. Um, it is instantly starting to dry down. It definitely is very matte looking on the face, which I like. I used to be really into like the very glossy looking sunscreens. And quite frankly, by the end of the day, it just looks like you have a bunch of sweat on your face, or at least that's the way that I feel. So I really am more so into the matte looking sunscreens as of late. It has zero smell, absolutely no smell, which is a huge plus in my book. I have no eye irritation from rubbing it directly around my eyes. And as I sit here longer, I can see the white cast continually disappearing. However, I can notice that it does get caught in a couple areas like right here and then right around my hairline. Um, 
this is a pretty good priced sunscreen. I mean, face sunscreens in general are always going to be a little bit more expensive. This one is supposed to be gentle enough that you can actually put it on your little ones, which is cool because then, you know, you can have not just a sunscreen for you, but one for your kids as well. Overall, I would say yes, I recommend the sunscreen unless you have um, darker skin and dark hair, then I think the white cast might bother you a little bit unless you're really careful about keeping it away from those areas. But you know, I mean like into your hairline, like especially if you have hair like me, I have a lot of hair, so it's thick, but my individual hair strands are very fine. So like if I come in, you can see, you can like kind of see my scalp. So for me, I like really want to get it back into my hairline. But for some people who have much thicker hairlines, that's not necessarily something you need to do. And generally people who are going to have the darker hair tend to also have thicker individual hair strands um, and, you know, a more pronounced kind of hairline, whereas mine's very uh, like Eastern European and just kind of balds back into my head if you will so <laughs> um but yes i would definitely recommend the sunscreen even if you have dry skin i have very dry skin especially as a tretinone user and a former uh individual who's been on accutane so this is again the review of the dr g green mild up sun plus it is again spf 50 excuse me and pa plus 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 so a PA rating is showing that in addition to the great UVB protection that this sunscreen has, this is the highest rating for protecting you against those UVA rays as well. So it's um, broad spectrum in that sense, and that's something that you definitely want. So um, great sunscreen, loved it. Let me know what you guys think. I will include a link in the description box below to this. I do have about four other sunscreens here that I plan on reviewing here soon. I also have my Retin-A or Tretinoin two year before and after video coming up as well. So I'm very excited for that. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing great. If you are someone who celebrates Thanksgiving, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And aside from that, I hope everyone had a great weekend and I'll talk to you all soon.